It has been 10 years since the establishment of the OIDC Zambia Sports Development Center. Situated along Great North Road near National Hero Stadium, the multi-sport facility was inaugurated by the then Zambian Republican President Rupia Banda and International Olympic Committee IOC President Jacques Rogue on 11th May 2010. It was initially called Olympic Youth Development Center OIDC because the project was undertaken by the International Olympic Committee in partnership with the Zambian government and the National Olympic Committee of Zambia. The center, whose main purpose is to help enhance sports development in Zambia by offering sports competitions and training facilities, plus providing a wide range of educational programs, health services and community activities to athletes and the general public in the region became the first of its kind. The multi-sport facility boasts of a football pitch with artificial turf, basketball, netball, handball and tennis courts, multi-purpose sports hall, boxing hall, tartan track for athletics plus the field, international swimming pool and the hockey pitch. From the time it was launched, hundreds of young people have been using the facility during weekdays and thousands during weekends and most of them come from surrounding communities like Matero and Mandevu. Among the successful athletes that have used the facility are Zambian sprinter Sidney Siame, who won a gold medal in 100 meters at the 2014 Youth Olympic Games in China, plus a gold medal at the 2019 All Africa Games in Algeria, not forgetting the under 18 national hockey team, which won a silver medal at the Africa Youth Games in Algeria in 2018, and the semi final finish at the Youth Olympic Games in Argentina the same year. Some users of the facility have attested how the center has helped them in their sports careers. Basketball has been my daily thing that I work on each and every day. And this place has been a home to me because it motivates me most of the times when I come here and it absconds me in the activities that are happening in our community like drinking, smoking and other activities that are bad because when I'm here I feel so secure rather than I'm in the community because when I'm in the community most of the activities is violence uh, and etc etc. I temporarily in 2011 for YDC. So YDC are in a folk thing. You are in Chicago, spread out time and you could stay here in Congo. The center has also found favor in the eyes of the current Zambian Republican president Edgar Lungu, who often uses the facility when officiating sports events. The President of the Republic of Zambia, uh, Dr. Ezeka Chagarungu, uh, there is no single year he has never been at OIDC. And we think that his presence here um, communicates a message to the corporate world in terms of the importance and strategic importance of uh, OIDC. Um, most of the years he comes here uh, to, to be part of the International Health Week. But there also sometimes he comes here just to launch a certain program, like recently he was here with, um, um, uh, during the time when we were, uh, we were hosting um, the ZAF, not the ZAF, the military sports through the, the, uh, the Department of Sport at the Minister of, uh, of Defense. Uh, and we know if it wasn't for Corona, he was, he was going to come here again in May uh, during the International, International Health Week. To keep the young athletes busy, the center has been running three competitions, namely the Tooling's Youth Sports Challenge, which attracts thousands of athletes, the Samsung Sports Challenge, and the Zamtel Swim Challenge. Housing over 20 sports disciplines, sports administrator Clement Chileshe became the first center director and took charge of things for eight years. In 2018, Dr. Clement Chileshe paved way for Dr. Frederick Chitangala a center director. He immediately hit the ground running and started the rebranding process. 
Instead of director, he was called the chief executive officer, CEO. He recounts how it has been in his two years in office. I think now I can smile. Um, because in 2018, if you remember, it was all gloomy. Too many debts and too many threats from creditors, uh, including banks who, who were owing money, etc., in APSA, and different suppliers. But we seem to have gotten over that particular hot wind and we are doing uh, a little better than, uh, than two years ago. So I can smile now and I can look, I can see and, uh, and see a very bright future for OIDC because in the next one or two years we should be out of all the debt. All the debt. I, I can assure you that because we are committed, we are right now committed. If it wasn't for this outbreak, we could have finished with a few uh, key um, uh, creditors that we were, were owing. Since the International Olympic Committee was no longer funding the center fully, rebranding was inevitable to encourage other would-be partners to come on board. From being called Olympic Youth Development Center, it was rebranded to simply OYDC Zambia Sports Development Center. In 2017, the center started experiencing financial problems uh, so bad that it was so highly indebted that uh, chances of grabbing it by the creditors were very high. So IOC, the National Olympic Committee, advised that uh, perhaps we have to be given a chance to start making money on our own. But we can't make money on our own for as long as we are carrying the brands or the intellectual property that is associated with the International Olympic Committee. Meaning we can't get sponsorship uh, from ZNBC for instance, because ZNBC is not a sponsor of the Olympic Games because we are carrying Olympic rings at the center. We are also called by the name Olympic, which are intellectual properties. So IOC withdrew, uh, disengaged themselves from the trust deed that established OITC uh, in the process, uh, terminating the contracts that they had between OIDC and IOC, also meaning that they are withdrawing the intellectual property, which were the rings, as well as the, the name Olympic. And that forced us to rebrand, to change the name from the Olympic Youth Development Center to the current name, which is OIDC Zambia Sports Development Center. However, the center is not the same as it was when it was inaugurated 10 years earlier. Some sports infrastructure, like the Tartan running track and basketball courts, have started wearing out something that is wearing the center CEO. This was the only facility of this kind. And in fact, when we say we are seeing 50,000 people annually passing through this center, I think it was worse uh, in, the, in the beginning because this place, more than you remember, was like full every day of the week. Okay? Now, that was good at at that particular time because we're making a name and we're we are saying we're doing this to young people but what we didn't know was the fact that uh, we are overusing the facilities and yet we're not investing back in the facilities in terms of uh, maintenance and repair so what happened a few years later some of the facilities were worn out the running track right now is not just expired because of the lifespan but also it's worn out completely out in the court that I mentioned also need patching if not replacement. You know, if you look at the at the at the ablution blocks or some of them, the facilities need to be replaced. If you look at the lodge, a lot of things that need to be done, and all these things happen because of overuse. As the center marks 10 years, some celebrations were here marked, but due to COVID-19, it will not pass this year. We we plan something big which unfortunately may not take place this year because uh, it's definitely out of the way. Maybe towards the end of the year, who knows. Let's see when Africa, and Zambia in particular, is going to reach the peak of the outbreak uh, so that we start seeing a drop of, uh, of this infection. So far, it's on the rise. We don't know when the peak is going to be reached and we don't know when the drop of, well, or when the curve is going to be flattened. In the next 10 years, or why this is expected to nurture, groom, and expose more talent in different sports disciplines for the benefit of the country and the region. More than Singala ZNBC Sport, Lusaka.